So let's start this databases too. And uh, we have to enable content. Object type. And then we just have to do task number one. It's create the forms, table invoices and others. We're going to create from wizard. We can select everything except of invoices. Oh, actually invoices ID we can do also. Uh, no, invoice ID, uh, it's gonna be a after increment. So it's gonna show it up by itself. So we just can do it. Going next. And finish. Add some buttons. It's not says uh, in the instructions, but it's good to know what to do. Record operation, add new record. and save. So after this, you will be able to play by yourself. Okay, it's voices and wonders. From owners create from wizard. We can place everything. Other ID is going to be after incremented, so we don't need it. Uh, actually, let's just check other ID. Yeah, basically it's after incrementing, so it's good to know. Next, we'll finish. So I will just create a new button. A new record. And save button. Finish. Okay, then from we're just gonna close everything and save it. Then we have to create a new query via query, uh, query wizard. So we have to do in place, create, uh, query wizard. We have to choose simple query wizard. And from employees, let's we'll just take last name, first name, job title, city. and country region. 
Why next? Yeah, and finish. Okay. Then we have to do select only settles. But we wouldn't be able to do this. For this case, we have to do uh, some kind of different style. You're just going to click uh, on the right side uh, with uh, the right button. Going to design view for this moment. I'm just going to copy the name of city. We're going to design view. We have to choose city and to make some sortation. So all cities which is equal to set of, you have to write down equal sign to commas, the name and uh, close commas. Then you can go to design to database data sheet view and you would be able to see that we have records only from settles. Okay. Um, step number six, uh, switch data sheet view on the employer query to design view and add crit criteria for the column city. Okay, basically that's it <laughs> with this. Okay, uh, the first part it's done. You have to save it everything, close. Then let's just open a new. Uh, part number two, which is going to be a uh, red book. Oh, actually, no, we're still on the same. And uh, we have to do a uh, multi table query. Uh, we're going to use customers, create. Uh, query design. Here we have uh, add tables. If you don't have it, so you can just click on the right button. Uh, you can view properties or you can show tables. Properties we don't need it right now, so you can use tables and we need to use tables customer then we have to use orders but and then just uh, put some data from those tables But if you want to make it easier, I will show you easier way. So it's going to customers, create, and create result. Simple. From customers, we need to use last name, first name. So we we are in the customers. Then go to orders, choose order date, then go to order details. Mm. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Oops. Order details, and we have to choose uh, quantity and unit price. Then we're going to products, product name, and product code. The, the way of how it's uh, lined up, it's matter um, because it's going to show it out like in this way. So last name, first name, order date, and so on. And next, here we're going to just go next and finish. Okay, great, it's working. Uh, and we have to set up quantity column bigger than 50. So you wouldn't be able to do here, uh, but you can uh, make a right click button and go to design view. And you have to do in quantity. Quantity it's here, make it a criteria and just bigger than 50. And it's done. Then go to data sheet view. See, it's working. Save it and very good. Uh, second part, uh, we're going to open a red book. Enable content. Going to change view to object type. We have to create a table, create table design. Here of rating of the number. have to set up like uh, this one is a parameter key so you have to use the uh, rain button and click primary key you will be able to see here like um, a key that, so it's showing up that it's primary key then use the next column line going to be time rating, date and time. And rating. Yes or no. And you have to save it. It's going to show up. Uh, how to save with the name. You have to do uh, name rating and okay. So now you can close it. Then we're going to make our relationships. So the first relationship, we're gonna make it database tools and uh, relationships. Uh, we have tables here, but if if you don't have tables here, just click show tables, right button. We, we need to use uh, account, comment, and post. Okay. This is gonna be the main one. Actually, you can use also rating. You will see uh, right now we don't need it rating, but you will see later on if we need it. Okay. 
we're going to use edit relationships. Select uh, create a new account to comment. ID account and ID comment. Oops. Uh, ID account, ID account, okay. We can use like this, so uh, everything is going to be updated altogether. Then we can use just click create, and it's one to many relationship. We can use again edit and uh, create a new post and comment. It's going to be a new post and a new post. Okay. Use everything like this and create one to many. So that's good. We're done with this part. Um, create relationship relationships with uh, the of wizard for rating. So we're gonna call this, save it, open rating, and in the rating you have to use uh, click to add show up like uh, following menu. Choose all cup and relationship. Go next. We're gonna use um, account. We're gonna uh, show up first name. Next. Here's dissertation type we don't need it. Go next, go next, create a name. Account it. Account ID key. Enable data integrity, cascade, debit, and finish. Then we went to again look up relationships. You have to do for post table post next um, text of post next 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 and. I use post and and finish. Okay, now we can start like some data here. For example, Linda, and we can choose her post. Okay, uh, and then we're going to database tools and check relations. And we have to save it here. Relationships, so basically they are created itself. So we, we, we are done with this post. Then we have to do um, number four, forgetting practice, create a form, table account. Okay, create from wizard. We're gonna choose everything except of ID account. Create, create, finish. We can close everything else before and save it. Don't forget. Then design view. 
run button. Add new read project. Um, add one more button to save. Okay, so it and from view. So add record type your information yourself select put some data uh, type your email I'm interested writing like some random stuff. If you want to use icon, you can just uh, drag and drop or use manage attachments. And save records. Okay, uh, then go to account. And you see, we have like our record here. Then you have to open again the records and uh, you have to set up the data. And we have to create a query. So we're going to create um, Create a new query that will draw up data from table account, set the criteria in order it display all fields and selects on the users that come from Germany or USA and our students. So you can go like this. We have to use all information from here. And then, and then go next and next and finish. So we have right now we have queries. We have to do design view. And for country. We have to set up criteria. So use two commas and type Germany. Before. USA and it should be student uh, job title this is student so here is the job title and write down equal student like 
Okay, and then just go to the dashboard view. And you can see only students. And from Germany and USA. Uh, so I'll just save it, save it, close everything, close your like, press of access, and just submit your files. Thanks for watching.